it's rewarding now on the other side of it to see the show and to see all that we've all put in. We can like, we can breathe Mm -hmm. and just go, yeah, it was worth it. And and it worked out. I think, I think we can be proud of what we, what we gave. Mm -hmm. I wanted to to start there actually, because, because of Duke Ellington, and I think you went to Juilliard after, Mm -hmm. um, you know, Betty and the other people in this series are so articulate and so smart, but I think even 60 years ago, people didn't speak the way they do now. So did that training that you had, you know, in, in high school, I, I presume for acting and college help you get the right emotion across, even as, you know, the dialogue maybe isn't how you would normally speak? Yes, for sure. It, to a certain extent. But for some reason, as you were saying that my mother is what came to mind. Um, I think, no, honestly, I think Oh, she's going to love that I say this, but she's such a timeless beauty. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where a lot of that foundation starts for me is the way in which my mother carried herself and carries herself um, is a lot of what I I, I tap into, um, especially with Dr. Shabazz, another timeless beauty who speaks so eloquently, like you like you said, um, and to be able to deliver such speeches and have that mind, I think I, I will give more credit to my mother, I think, in this moment. <laughs> yes, I love it. I love that too. That's amazing. <laughs> and, uh, Marice, I got to know, was that you singing opera? Spill the tea, girl. Mm, who's going? Who, uh, <laughs> <laughs> who's going to say it was? Is, it, is, is there evidence to say it was? <laughs> There's no, I, I believe it's you. Mm. So, so it is. Run with whatever you want yes. to. <laughs> no, I'm not going to take credit for somebody else's work. I really wish I could, but called a wonderful, wonderful opera singer called Lauren Michelle yeah. was the one singing, but she did give me a lot of training. Uh, we had a lot of sessions where she taught me how to breathe like an mm. opera singer. And so that's why I think she took, she taught me the physicality of, you know, how to hold mm-hmm. myself, the posture, where the voice is coming from. There was something interesting that she said. She said, uh, breathe through your back and imagine that, you th- that you've got wings coming out of your back mm. and they're lifting you. And I actually mm. would envision it. And watching the scene, I was like, I, I get it. Because oh, yeah. at first I thought I was like, wings out of my back? Excuse me? <laughs> what do you mean? But uh, no, it was a wonderful Lauren Michelle, incredible, incredible opera singer. And she she taught me what I needed to know. That's why y'all didn't know that it wasn't uh-huh. me. Uh-huh. You pulled that. Yeah, it was you, you did amazing. Uh, just to follow up on that real quick, because I know we also see, you know, credit younger as well. Um, how is it for you to like bring this character to life, knowing that you're one of a, a number of people who are kind of responsible for the portrayal? I imagine it's the same responsibility that everyone feels, the same reverence, the same respect, the same honor. Um, I am cautious of not, I was cautious of not trying to uh, paint almost a caricature or what I think you know, is supposed to be seen of her. Mm. Um, I learned as much as I could about her from all the information I got, but I also gave my gra- myself the grace to know that I'm not her and I can only show what I think she was like. And, you know, to keep that at the forefront, that there is no right and wrong um, of how it is, but I can only give lend myself to her with the utmost respect, utmost reverence, and um, hopefully it be interpreted as that, Um so yeah, I think that was um I think I answered your question. You did. Okay, great. Okay. You, you definitely did. Okay. <laughs> um <laughs> and Jamie, I know you've done your share of bringing, you know, these really important figures to life before. You've played, I believe, young Michelle Obama as well. Mm-hmm. Uh how did those experiences, you know, affect your approach in in portraying a real person? You would think it gets easier uh it doesn't (laughs) at all um i think because the nerves are always there right with any job the nerves are there but especially when you talk about honoring someone who has lived and and who, who people have some level of a relationship to um and who has left such a legacy um there is the dual responsibility to honor and 
to fully invest in showing all of who she is, right? And sometimes in the early stages of prepping, it it feels like those are um, competing with each other. I want to mm-hmm. honor, I want to respect her, I want to revere her, but I also want to tell the truth. And 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 some of that comes with um, the insecurities or the questions or the doubts or the frailties. And as you get more comfortable, as I got more comfortable with Dr. Shabazz and, and embodying her, recognizing that I am honoring her by telling the full totality mm-hmm. of her. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I, I still came on with a lot of nerves and excitement and... Um, but it's it's rewarding now on the other side of it to see the show and to see all that we've all put in. We can like we can breathe mm-hmm. and just go, yeah, it was worth it. And it, and it worked out. I yes. think I think we can be proud of what we what we gave. Mm-hmm. Or to this kind of I think jumps off of what Jamie was just saying. But uh, one of my favorite things about this series is how how much we see, you know, Dr. Shabazz and, and Coretta Scott King as their own people and not just the partners to these like icons, uh, how much work went into, you know, rounding out the character and, and making sure that we see all of that. Was that a lot of talks with the writers and directors as well as your own work? I think we were very gifted to have directors yeah. who, um, would talk to us, uh, but it would also allow us to do our own thing. I personally, as an actor, I, if I, if I need guidance, I'll ask, but I really enjoy being given Mm -hmm. the freedom to make my own decisions for a character. Uh, I mean, we all have kind of the same groundwork, you know, we had our research about Coretta that was shared uh, among everyone. So we had the facts, but um, I was given the privilege and I was, I think, entrusted Mm -hmm. with the task to give her a a personality of sorts uh, in this portrayal, and so I'm I'm grateful for that. Um, but again, yeah, the facts were there, and uh, I guess I just I was given the grace to add a little bit of my source, yeah. I would say, on it because that's yeah. that's all I I can do. And the yeah. writers' room was absolutely wonderful. I yeah. have to say, like, absolutely wonderful. Um, there was space for collaboration. Yeah, yeah. Another one of my favorite scenes of this whole show is one that you two have together, uh, which, Others. you know, yeah. I just I wanted to I watched it. Too. I did. I did. I think I did. I teared up a little bit, honestly. It was yeah. really powerful. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but how was it just to finally get to, I don't know if you'd met before that, like how was it to spend time together and and bring that to life together? That scene was actually one of the last days we filmed. So we were fully in yeah. our sister's imagine. <laughs> we were literally just like, this imagine us at that age, you Come know. Off. Was it, how old? I don't know. Like 38, 40 something, gosh, I think. Yeah, I think it was. Mm-hmm. Well, we were just like in our grown woman yeah. <laughs> at that point, and we were already, you know, out, out outside of work. We were already besties, so yeah. it was it was casual for me. It was. I was glad that we got that because that a little bit of behind the scenes, I guess. Yeah, yes. that scene wasn't something that was initially um, written in. Yes, and so that was something that the writers, uh, Damien and Raph, stumbled upon through the filming process. Um, and it was a wonderful surprise. Magical. Yeah. To, to have that opportunity. Um, so when they brought that to us, honestly, there was a little bit of trepidation, but it was also like, you know what? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Put that in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. That's like one of the most, powerful yeah. the entire that's thing the, and it's like that's the beautiful thing about what we do is yes there was so much room for collaboration you there was so much preparation that was done from everybody's side mm-hmm. and yet there was still room for discovery yes. and so when they could come about that in the middle of like we had been shooting at that point for maybe 4 months yes. by the time that they had brought that and we and everybody just went oh yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. oh no that's how you yeah. That's how that has to be there. Yeah. Um, the adaptability, yeah. you know, as well to be able, and it, it just made sense yeah. at that point. And it's so beautiful the way, honestly, we just keep saying that the way it's turned out, I definitely, I mean, I knew it was special, but to see it visually, yeah, it's a gift. It's a, yeah. Well, thank you both so much for your time. Congratulations on the series. It's you're thank both you. so amazing in it. 